Today I effed up by having an open door policy. So we adopted this furry bundle of sass about two months ago. She was abandoned by her litter and found with eye and sinus infections that left her with a smudged eye and a very peculiar purr. Being the forgiving, clueless, first-time cat parents that we are, my wife and I let her pretty much run the house. She runs around as she pleases and we reward even her less desirable tricks with oohs and ahs. One of her less desirable peculiarities is that she will drop whatever she is doing anywhere in the house to rush to the sound of flowing water. She will watch you wash your hands, do the dishes, and specially run baths and start showers. That brings us to today. After a long day at work, I'd been looking forward to fulfilling the great Midwestern tradition of coming home and getting in sweatpants. I had been fighting the urge to asterisk 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 and holding it for my entire commute. Fortunately, it was a smooth drive with no traffic. I cranked some tunes and was in my neighborhood in no time. As I turned to my street, my bladder's internal geofence did what it does and determined it needed to be drained yesterday. So finally I'm home and in sweatpants. I rush to the bathroom and pull up the seat because I'm a gentleman. I finally get to release all Trenta ounces of coffee I'd been keeping with me. It's my house and I'm home alone, so I didn't bother closing the door. I wish I'd known this would be my mess up. Lured by the sound of the gushing flow of my stream, I hear the tinkling bell in Kat's collar foreshadowing her epic race. From the basement, up the stairs, through the kitchen, around the dining room, past the living room, and across the hall, she was in the bathroom in a flash. It's not the first time she runs to me as I go potty, but this is the first time she hops up on the bowl and sticks her head under my fast-flowing stream. I immediately swerved to re-aim, but it was much too late at that point. The damage was done. She forgave me, I think, and even let me rinse her off. We're both not sure about next steps, or how to tell my wife. I should probably wait, until she's home and snuggling with her to let her know.